This question has been asked more on my channel than any other question. Can you take a Chromecast and pair it with a Nest Audio or a Google Home speaker and have video play on the Chromecast and audio play on the speaker? Well, the answer to that is simply no. The way that you want it to be done, it is not possible. Google does not support that as of this video. But with the introduction of the new Chromecast with Google TV, is there a possibility that you can do something like that? Maybe. And today we're gonna to test it out to see if it will work. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So I'm getting this question a lot since the introduction of the new uh, Chromecast with Google TV. Can you some way link them together because of the new Bluetooth support? So I really want to find that out and I've started to test that and I'm gonna show you what I have experienced. So first, let me talk about the audio groups that are currently supported. So if you have a Chromecast Ultra, a Chromecast third generation, or a Chromecast with Google TV, you can put those devices into an audio group with your other Google Home speakers. So a Nest Mini, a Nest Audio, a Google Home. Um, you can create an audio group and is what that audio group does is if you cast music to that group, it's going to play music on every single device that you have in that group. And that's including the speakers that are tied to the TV. But there is no way to have video play from your Chromecast on to that group, it's just not possible. And I'm getting a lot of questions, well I have a projector that I've plugged my Chromecast into and it has terrible sound and I want the sound to come out of the Nest speaker. Now I've also received this question, if I have a monitor without speakers, can I plug a Chromecast into it and then play the audio from the Chromecast on my Google speaker? And again, there the answer has been no. But with the introduction of Chromecast with Google TV, it now supports Bluetooth. So there's a possibility that it might be possible. So today, I'm gonna to run you through a few different tests to see if this will work. Not only are we going to test the Chromecast with Google TV, I'm also going to test my Pixel Buds so that I can show you what the experience is like and if it's going to work or if it's not going to work. Because I've been playing with this, so there's a lot happening. So we're going to test three different devices to see how this works. So first we're going to test the uh, Chromecast with Google TV on my home entertainment center. Thanks Google for sending out the Sky version so I could check it out. Next we're going to test the Chromecast with my Pixel Buds to see if that works over Bluetooth. And then the third device we're going to test is two Nest Audio devices paired together in a stereo group so they have a right and left channel and then pairing that to Bluetooth to our Google TV and see if that works. So I'm gonna do this first test just so you can see what the normal expectation of the Chromecast with Google TV is if you're playing out of your TV speakers or if you're playing out of an entertainment center. Now some people don't have a nice TV and so that's why they may want this or um, many of those other options I mentioned before. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to test out a YouTube video, we're gonna test out playing music, and then we're gonna test out two different media apps to show you how sound should typically work. Okay, so our first device is Chromecast with Google TV. Now I am plugged into my audio receiver over optical from the TV. So the first test I want to do is just playing a YouTube sound test and showing you we have left and right channels and that YouTube currently is working. So here we go, surround sound test. That's good for that test, sounds great, and YouTube works. Next test is let's go into uh, YouTube Music and I'm going to just play some music. And here's a song from an uploaded track. Okay, sounds great, works great. Uh, just for fun, we're gonna do one more audio test. So let's head into Pandora. Big test. All 
All right, and there Pandora works with no problem. Next test is we're going to play something from Netflix. What, where's my laptop? I don't know. I'm hey, set. if you want me to drive you, we gotta go now. Okay. No, no, no. I'll, I'll... All right, so there Netflix is working great and all the audio is perfectly sync. Now let's do one more video app. Let's go ahead and do a little clip here from Lego Batman. I'm afraid that's not possible, sir. It is possible. I'm already at 20. You're scheduled to get a Jim Gordon's retirement party. What? No. And so Lego Batman from Google TV application, the audio and everything worked great. So that is the typical expectation of the Chromecast with Google TV on your TV or with a AV receiver. Now the second test is going to be doing the Pixel Buds. So now let me show you how you can go in and pair your headphones to your Chromecast. Just hold down the home button on the Chromecast and then we're gonna head into settings. Scroll down to remotes and accessories. We're going to select pair remote or accessory. And then on the Pixel Buds, we just need to open them up and hold the button on the back for three seconds. There you can see the Pixel Buds. Click on it to connect. Pair. So now our Pixel Buds are paired. Let's go ahead and go through those same tests to see how they work. First up, I'm going to do the surround sound test. Okay, so here you can see it's showing Bluetooth volume. It's actually playing. Came out of this ear, left channel, and came out of the right channel. So just as expected. All right, let's pause that. And next let's play, we'll just do the music from Pandora. Oh, that was loud. All right, music playing, no problem. Sorry if I'm talking extra loud, that's kind of how this works. Next, let's go and play Netflix. All right, so far it is working. Now I did this test Two weeks ago, it would not play the video. All right, that is actually working way better than it did before. I have all controls from my earbuds and everything. Let's see if the Google Assistant works. What's the weather like tomorrow? Google Assistant didn't work, but that's pretty cool. All right, so our last test, let's head in and play Batman. All right, so from listening there, I think the audio latency is very small, I think there's a little bit there, but it actually sounded pretty good. You probably could watch a full movie like this without issue. One more test I did wanna try out was using Disney Plus. So right now I'm playing Free Birds and I'm not hearing any audio out of the Pixel Buds. Even though I am controlling uh, the volume right here, it says I'm connected via Bluetooth, but there is no volume kind of out of here. Let's see what happens when I put them back in. Something went wrong. That sometimes happens when it disconnects. Resume. And there you can see the music works just fine. Put these back in. And I'm not hearing anything. So I will say that the Pixel Buds do work for some things, but there's no guarantee that it's gonna work with the application you want. Um, I've tested out a few, it seems to work just fine, but then every once in a while I find something like this where it's a Disney Plus and it doesn't work. So on to the next test where we're going to do the same pairing, but to our Google Nest Audio pair. Okay, we're going to head back into the settings and then go to remotes and accessories, pair remote, pair Bluetooth. Okay. To connect, open Bluetooth settings and look for the device called Family Room Pair. There you can see Family Room Pair and you also saw that my Nest Audio are currently in stereo mode. Now you could do this without stereo mode, it's gonna be the same experience. All right, they are paired together. Let's head to our first test. So let's go to YouTube and do the surround sound test. This is the left channel. Next, we have the center channel. Over here is the right channel. All right, that worked great without any issues. It was able to play right and left channel on the Nest Audio Stereo Pair. 
Next, let's head into Netflix and try it out. Where's my laptop? I don't know. I'm all set. So right there, it's currently only coming out of the left channel. I'm not hearing the right channel. Now, when I had this happen before, I went through the process to repair and reconnect, and it fixed it. Let's see if that will work. All right, so reconnecting did fix that issue. Where's my laptop? I don't know. I'm all set. Okay, there the audio latency was pretty much zero. They're talking and the audio came together, but I did notice some weird audio issues over there on the right side um, with it connected together. So I will say that Netflix works with the stereo pair. Next, let's go ahead and try the Disney Plus test. All right, here's for the birds. Again, it's playing, but I am not hearing any audio. You can see the Bluetooth volume there is up all the way, but nothing is coming through. So Disney Plus definitely isn't supported with Bluetooth audio. And now let's do the Batman test. We're going to a thousand. I'm afraid that's not possible, sir. It is possible. I'm already at 20. You're scheduled to go to Jim Gordon's retirement party. What? And there you can see there is a bit of audio latency as the mouse did not quite line up with the audio. So let's go ahead and do one more test of this uh, with Ant-Man. You're supposed to be in Moscow. I took a detour through your defense lab. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. All right, so that's working pretty good right now. When I did this same test earlier, it was about a second delay from when they said something to when you heard it. So your mileage may vary. You're supposed to be in Moscow. I took a detour through your defense lab. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. That depends if you think it's a poor attempt to replicate my work. I decided to test a second time and there you can clearly see there's a lot of audio latency. And for me, I just can't watch a movie when there's that much delay. Now, maybe I could go unconnect and reconnect, but I do not want to do that every time I'm having this issue. It's just not going to work great. So those results are actually much different than I saw before when testing this just a day or two ago. Now I did just barely set this one up and there was that new firmware update. So maybe they fixed a few of the things, but if you are wanting to use this, so if you're wanting to use it with your Pixel Buds, it actually worked with a few things. Uh, before when I tried it, it would not play anything. You'd open Netflix, wouldn't play. Open YouTube, wouldn't play. Um, the only thing that was working before was music, but now it looks like music works. Netflix is working. Um, Disney Plus, it's mute. So if you want Disney Plus, it's not gonna work. Um, and some other apps, I'm not really sure if it's gonna work or not. So you would just have to go through and test those out on your own. But I'm glad to see that there has been some improvement in just the week that I've had this device. Now let's talk about with the Nest Audio. So it pairs up, it works some things, it worked great. I would say that Netflix is the best thing if you're going to pair over Bluetooth to a Nest Audio or a Google Home speaker. Now these are the latest speakers, so they have better Bluetooth. So I would get one of these if you're gonna do this, but then maybe it's going to have low latency or maybe it's gonna be higher latency and it's just not going to sound right. And if that works, there's really no way to adjust that or fix it unless you try and disconnect and reconnect and kind of have to go through all that. Now, the other thing I didn't really test here is what if you just turn off the TV, come back later and turn it on? Well, so far when I've done that three times today, it wasn't paired back to the Nest Audio. I had to go through the disconnect and reconnect them to get them to work properly. And for me, that's just not a great user experience to do that every single time I wanna watch TV. And so there is the test. What do you think? Is it worth all the different problems to try and get this to work with Bluetooth audio devices? Or are you like me and you don't wanna fiddle with all that stuff and you want a constant connection? Please let me know in the comments below and also let me know if I did the test wrong or if there's something else you want me to test. I'll do my best to answer some of those questions. Now for me, I would say that this is not a recommended solution. And I won't say that it is a recommended solution unless Google officially comes out with a way to pair a Chromecast and a Nest Audio in a video group. Right now, music groups are supported or audio groups, but not a video group. And once that happens, 
I'm gonna say this is not really worth your time to try out, but maybe you really want to, so go for it. And if you do wanna see things that the new Chromecast with Google TV can do, I'll leave a video all about those features right here. And if you wanna check out another smart home ecosystem where this functionality is supported, check out the video down here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.